Hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if it's your first time here. Thank you for stopping by, I really do appreciate your support. So today we're going to be doing a look with the Lottie London, the Mauve's palette. It's the day, t it's day two, look two. Um, and I'm not sure what I'm going to use. Yesterday I created a beautiful look with these. I absolutely loved how it turned out. This shade here is absolutely stunning. So we're going to have to use some of the same shades that we used yesterday because there's only four mattes in this palette so we're going to start off with i think it's called boss this cream ivory shade here yeah it's called boss so i just need to get my brush this one here and i always start off with a cream ivory shade just to i've actually not got it on today normally i wear the um nyx white base but i'm not i'm not wearing it today which is very unlike me so we'll just put this on it anyway the eyeshadows will go on a lot smoother with this kind of shade down first okay right so now we're going to go in with the shade that i went in with yesterday so it's this one and that one is called Dusk. I don't really have any option to go in with any other shade because this is the lightest one in the palette. And this brush is the Real Techniques 305. Same brush I used yesterday as well. Just cleaned it off. Let's zoom you in. a bit on the right eye a bit more sorry about that so i'm sick of the people that want to go upstairs pressing my intercom i'm absolutely sick of it and i do have a privacy button on my intercom i just don't feel like it I don't feel like I should have to do that, put it on privacy so people don't disturb me. I mean, it's not my place to let people into the building. Um, they have keys, so, you know, they need to start using the keys, in my opinion. Anyway, let's get back into the video. So, <clears throat> I think, I don't know. Yeah, I must have used all three of those shades yesterday. So I think we're going to go in with this one to deepen it out. I think I'll put the shimmer on first though. What shimmer shall I use? Right, so that one is a lot deeper. This one, I'm just wondering if we can get that purple to, um, to be more pigmented. So I might try that. It is a lot more patchy. It is a lot more powdery than the brown one. Um, so yeah, we'll try the purple today. Really dig my finger into it. So the purple is called Veil. So we'll put this on first. It doesn't go on powdery on the eye, which I'm glad to hear. I'm just wondering if we can get it more pigmented, which we'll try in a minute by spraying the brush. Otherwise, it's just like a really nice every day it's just going to be a really nice every day um, eye look with a little bit of smokiness on the outer V which isn't necessarily a bad thing I think I only paid about three or four pounds for this palette so I'm not too mad at that that looks nice looks really nice so let's pop some more on the left eye I've never had this problem with neighbours guys, I mean, I've never had the problem where the press in my intercom to disturb me to let them in to go to somebody else's house. I think that is just so cheeky um, and really, really rude. I'm not, it's like, it's like the 
treat my flat like it's kind of a shop you know I know I'm complaining a little bit but if it you know if it keeps happening I'm gonna say something to them which probably won't go down too well um, they're certainly not the people that you want to mess about with let's put it that way um, but the alternative is what to move and I'm not gonna do that I've said that in so many videos so let's do the outer V first before we go in and spritz the brush to get that shimmer pig more pigmented so I'm going to go in with this shade here did I use that yesterday? I did, didn't I? boss but there are only three like quite dark shades there's this one here which is power then that shade there and then that shade I think I want to go back in with power actually I can't 100% remember if I used it. That's looking nice, all smoky. And we'll probably put that on the lash line as well. So I'm just going in now with this BH Cosmetics 122. And then I'm going back in with that cream boss shade just for the brow bone. Okay, um the only inner corner highlight we can use is this one. So this one is Fias, I used that yesterday as well, and no doubt I'll be using it tomorrow. So I'm going back in with the Primark Duo brush. So let's pop some on. Okay. We'll actually do the lash line and then I'll spritz the brush. Um, to try and get it more pigmented so let's do the lash line again I'm going in with that very same shade which is called power this one here So we're looking like that, that's really nice so far, so let me get a brush, this one might work, this Primark one, um, and we'll spritz the brush with the Primark Glow Intensity Setting Spray, and then we'll really put a lot on the brush and that might work. Okay. Ooh, yes. Yes, please. It's got like what looks like little parts of glitter in it, but not. I mean, I don't know how to describe it. Just really, really pretty. And what I'm going to do is I'm also going to spritz that side and go in with the kind of inner corner highlight shade um, which was called Fies um, and we're gonna build that up as well because I do like a popping highlighter Right, so we've done that, so now I'm going to tie line just with the Too Faced Love um, in Perfect Black. Oh, I'm always doing that. And then we're going in with the Essence I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara, the Huge. 
she's absolutely gorgeous i love this mascara i'm not going to buy it again though for a while just because there's a couple more essence ones i want to try so next time i buy an essence mascara i'll try that there's one called um false lashes which i wouldn't mind trying so right i really like the way that's looking so now all we need to do is choose a lippy right let me just wipe my lip gloss off or lip balm should i say i think what i want to do is use this one so this is the maybelline superstay matte ink in the shade 117 ground breaker it's not in my lipstick edit but i think it might go nice and it's a really nice deep So guys, this is the overall look. I'm loving that lipstick. The thing with those lipsticks is they do feel a bit tacky for quite a while until they dry down. And I'm not certain that they dry down altogether. It's the same with the lip crayons. I've got one of the lip crayons in the Superstay Matte Ink. Um, but they're like that as well. So I think that's just the formula. They do smell really, really nice. That's the kind of scent I do like. it. I don't know what it smells of, but it smells nice about this palette so i've used it two days now so i feel like that can give me a really good first impression and my thoughts on it i do actually like it i didn't think i'd like the shade at all but it is a stunning shade it doesn't look like nothing if you don't spritz your brush but once you spritz but once you spritz your brush it looks amazing really really like that i think tomorrow i'm going to use this shade here it's kind of red toned it looks really really nice so i could go and use that one or i could use this one and they're both really really pretty i'm not pulling it in for four days yeah i think i want to use this kind of tone because i don't often use like those red cranberry shades so i think we'll be doing that um i just wish there was like a, a reddish um, matte in here but there's not um but we'll make do and do a nice look hopefully um so guys this is the finished look and yes i really really like the way it turned out so again that's the lottie london the morphs palette thank you for watching today i really do appreciate your time and support on the channel it means the absolute world to me so this concludes the video guys thank you so much for watching today i really do appreciate your time and support please like it really does help out the channel share and comment and i will see you in the next one bye guys